another, hoped she wouldn't wake up. Each morning I'd pull the curtains, I'd gently wake her, and she'd open her eyes and say, I am immortal. One morning I pulled the curtains and I was praying, Mum, please don't open your eyes. I wanted her to die peacefully in her sleep. When the person you love the most in life, especially your mother, the anchor, your rock in life, looks you in the eyes and pleads with you to put them out of their pain, to help them to die, to kill them, it's the most dreadful, dreadful question a, a son could ever face. Mum's request to have it end became more and more insistent, really, as each one of us would sit by her bed talking to her, she would actually just say, please, please, just put it put on my head. She just wanted to be dead. She wanted the suffering over, and she wanted somebody to do it. I, I think, in a way, Mum rather preferred it was Sean. <laughs> but um, it doesn't really let any of the rest of us, or including the daughters, obviously, uh, off the hook. I have been charged with attempting to murder my mother. If I don't go back and defend myself, that charge hangs over me undefended forever. And the court went on to say in that case, speaks accountability for the deliberate taking or attempted taking of a human life. The issue is not one of private arrangement, but community values. The fundamental concern must be the sanctity of human life. As a general rule, imprisonment is the appropriate response the maximum penalties of 14 years imprisonment with attempted murder and assisting suicide are the same. The reality is that there's a world of judgement waiting for me at the moment. And, yeah, I think my situation is very bad. If I had not done what I did to help her, I would have regretted it for the rest of my life. And yes, I would do it today if I was in that very same situation.